been up there in YouTube Starland, it's Music Man RN coming back at you. Uh, I put a tutorial on uh, Taylor, the introduction. I think I said in there that I was going to get to the verse and chorus, but I don't know, I either forgot or I didn't have time. You know, these things are limited in time here, so uh, I'm going to get to it and uh, I'm getting to it now. So here's the verse and uh, chorus. So I got more of my uh, right hand showing this time because the verse is completely palm muted. And if you're not familiar with palm muting, um, this is a great song to um, try to actually learn and practice it. Um, it's basically a four chord sequence um, or fragmented chords. Um, and the whole thing is uh, played uh, again with the palm mute and also some open strings and the palm muting continues throughout. So um, I'll try to play through it a little bit quickly here and then um, try to break it down a little bit. But you want to get your hand in a nice palm muting position and that means um, get your palm of uh, this hand, get that palm right up on them strings. That's why they call it palm muting. You didn't know there was comedy involved in this too, huh? So, um, and keep it there while you're strumming up and down to get that real sound and effect. And if it feels weird and uncomfortable, keep with it. Eventually, you'll get the hang of it. And it's a very handy uh, uh, guitar little tactic to throw at to add some spruce to your songs. Obviously, that's very palm muted. Now, you don't have to palm mute to that exact same degree. Um, you can lighten up on the palm mute if you want to get a little bit more of an actual chord sound. Um, but if you actually listen to the album version of it, it's a pretty heavy palm mute. But that's up to you, and um, it doesn't have to be the same all the way through. Even the first or second verse might be a little bit more palm muted than maybe later on. Um, the reason the palm muting comes in real handy is because when you do switch to the actual chorus, those are all open position chords, and that change from palm muting to that full sounding chord is a very nice transition. It kind of gives the verse that that kind of deeper, darker feel, and then gives the chorus that bright and happy, hey, hey, I'm playing an open position chord kind of feel. Um, another guitar tactic used, uh, Dave Matthews does that a lot. Um, so let's get to the, actually what those chords are that I'm palm muting. Um, the chords would actually be C. G slash B, which is a slash chord where I'm actually threading the second uh, second fret A string and then the third fret E string. Um, very common chord, use all kinds of songs. But you're not really ever playing that bottom part of it. I'm just giving you what the actual chord shape would be. Um, to an A, um, A suspended shape. Um, which is kind of like an A chord, except you don't really need that pinky down there, so you're just spreading those two strings, this one and this one. Second fret, E string and G string. And of course the low E is your bass note there, and you're commuting that low E when you get to that. So. And then to third fret, A string and third fret, uh, D string, which would technically be part of an F chord. But you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that low E first fret. You want to only really hear just those two notes. So when you take those four chords, the C, the E, G slash B, to the A, to the F, and then you add the palm muting and you kind of take away a little bit of the chord because again you're not playing the whole chord. The song is not. You're palm muting just the top part of it. That you'll get that sound, which is this. Now, the one thing I didn't mention 
is that in between those four chords, you might notice that this hand keeps strumming. That never really changes. Uh, that's going at a kind of steady rhythm. Um, but uh, in between the chord changes, you're basically continuing to strum just those open strings. And it's basically just the open A string and B string. So when I slow that down, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. So you have the dun 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 you get the idea of what I'm saying there. Um, you basically just want to keep that pick attack going, that palm muted pick attack, and basically just lift your fingers off and keep palm muting those open strings, and it actually buys you time to switch to the next chord. It buys you probably more time than you need. So again, just those four chords. C, G slash B, A, and I guess we'll call it F, even though we're technically not playing that. We're not playing that low E. First fret, We're just playing the third fret A, third fret B. Um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this um, throughout that entire uh, riff that we're playing. That low E is always muted. I don't think I said that, but hopefully you caught that from what I was playing. Mute it however you want. It probably makes sense to have your thumb up there covering it. So in case you were to hit it, it's not going to make a sound. Because you're never really playing that low E throughout that full sequence. So that's the verse. The chorus is essentially um, pretty much the same chorus, um, just slight changes. It's C to G to A minor to F major 7, which is, in case you don't know this chord, is um, you're fretting D string third fret, or G string second fret, and D string first fret. So you're leaving that high E open. So you play those four together. That is an F major seven. You're not actually uh, playing that that A or E. So that. Uh, which is actually F note becomes your bass note, that uh, third fret D e string, which again is an F note, and that becomes your bass note. Um, that's basically that. Um, trying to make sure I covered everything. I think there's a bridge in there somewhere, um, but we're not going to get to that. The verse and the chorus, I think we got through. Um, if you're looking for a strum pattern, for the chorus. I guess listen to the recording, but it would probably sound something along the lines of. Um, maybe not 100% perfect, but give you the idea. So, again, the nice thing is when you transition from that palm muting to those chords, it sounds kind of cool when you have that. Now, listen to the recording for the specific uh, strum pattern. Um, but when you uh, combine the two of them, you get that nice little kind of uh, dark and light feeling. Um, and that's a really cool musical effect that kind of makes the song get some of that feel. Um, so hopefully that's it, uh, everything. Um, sorry I, I put this into two parts. It was supposed to be one part, um, but my bad. There's the verse chorus. Hope that helps. Continue rocking Music Man RN. We'll be back at you with some more uploads as soon as I can do them. <laughs>